Hey everyone, uh, I got done watching the next episode of Pioneer's Lightspeed Rescue, Ryan's Destiny. It's a really good episode, I really liked this one back when I was little. Uh, the Titanium Ranger was just like the coolest thing ever for a while. So anyway, uh, my thoughts on the episode, um, let's see. It begins with uh, Ryan is, let's see, he's no longer with the bad guys, he comes to Lightspeed, but he's not ready to join them either. He's confused. He uh, goes to Captain Mitchell, tells him that he's leaving to figure things out, and uh, Captain Mitchell gives him this little box about the size to hold a morpher. I wonder what's in there. And then, so anyway, uh, Ryan leaves. We cut to uh, the bad guys, the demons, and Banshira is threatening uh, Diabolico that if he doesn't defeat the Rangers, she's going to give his star power to Impus. I don't know if they've mentioned his star power before. Apparently it's that little red star on his chest. Okay, whatever. Anyway, um, oh yeah, and then, let's see, he creates three monsters, and Jinxer says that those are the last three that he has. And that made me wonder, where do the monsters come from? Do they, like, summon them from somewhere? Do they pop out of nowhere? Does Jinxer buy them, or make them, or... Why are they on the cards in the first place? Who knows? Weird Power Ranger logic, whatever. Anyway, uh, the bad guys can shoot feathers around, and the feathers explode. Alright, so anyway, uh, Ryan's uh, wandering around, he comes to a playground, he picks up on the feathers, he gives it to some kid, leaves, and he's uh, at this bus station, and there's a really... I don't know if it's an infamous scene? Like, Power Ranger fans would know the scene if they know light speed. I don't know if, if it's, like, really well-known outside the series, like some other, like, meme things in Power Rangers, but anyway... He sits down next to this old lady, and she's like, so where are you going? And he doesn't really know, and then she says, follow your heart. You'll get where you need to be. And then she winks, and it's really, really weird. <laughs> and the old woman reminds me a lot of Aunt May from those old uh, Raimi Spider-Man movies. That's weird. Anyway, let's see. Oh yeah, the monsters. I really like the monsters. There's three of them. We don't hear their names in this one. Let's see. Yeah, I don't remember their names. One is Demonite. One is uh, Falcon, I think. Then there's a third, the third one, the like round one. I don't remember what his name is. Anyway, I like them. They're really cool monsters. I wish they had stuck around a little bit more. They could have brought them back to life at some point. That would have been cool. Anyway, they are fighting the Rangers and they spill the entire plan to the Rangers about the feathers. When the sun sets, it'll make all the feathers explode at once. Why did they tell the ranger? They didn't need to. They didn't need to tell them that. Now they know what what you're planning. <laughs> I guess it's a monster thing. Or a bad guy thing. Anyway, Captain Mitchell uh, hears that and he's like, We have to get all those feathers. <laughs> and he's like dead serious. And I love the... Power Rangers can have a character say, we need to get all those feathers, and it's, like, dead serious. People will die if we don't get those feathers. <laughs> so anyway, um, oh yeah, now I remember, uh, Ryan's at the bus station, he's about to board the bus, then he hears, uh, things come in over the news on the radio that the feathers are gonna explode, and he remembers the kid he gave the feather to, so then he runs back, and we get this really cool, tense music. Dun, 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 dun. Dun, 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 dun. I love that. Anyway, uh, he runs up to, uh, he finds the kid with his family now. He pulls the feather out of their backpack, tosses it over a bridge. They all duck and boom. And then we get this one scene. I don't know. I find it funny where the little girl there goes, You saved us. <laughs> I don't know why. For some reason, it always cracks me up the way she says, You saved us. <laughs> anyway. Uh, he opens up the box Mitchell gave him, and holy crap, it's the Morpher. Didn't see that coming. Anyway, uh, he morphs, helps the Rangers fight the bad guys, and it's a really cool fight scene. I love that fight scene. I love the music at the end. da 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 Love that. Anyway, um, let's see. Yeah, he uh, goes back to light speed. They make him a part of light speed. He even gets the jacket. Uh, he's sleeping that night, and then there's a weird... Thing. I don't know if it's a flashback, or a dream, or what's going on. He's, let's see, he's sleeping, and, like, in his memory, 
or now, I, I don't really know when it's supposed to be taking place. He's running from Diabolico, Diabolico zaps his back, and this cobra tattoo shows up on it, and he tells him that every time you morph, the cobra will move further and further up your back until it reaches your neck and destroys you. And, so yeah, uh, that's a thing. Anyway, he wakes up, goes to the mirror, uh, pulls his shirt up, and holy crap, there it is, there's the cobra. The end. So yeah, really cool episode, really love it. The whole, like, a uh, cobra tattoo thing, that was a really cool concept. I remember reading somewhere that the idea came from, like, uh, one of the 80s Sentais or something. Like, there was some Sentai series in the 80s where they did something like that. I don't remember it. Am I, am I forgetting something? Like, I think it might have happened? I know it was an Akiba Ranger, I remember that. Where they had, like, a little scorpion uh, crawling up. Like, a, a scorpion tattoo that, like, moved up someone. But I don't remember what the 80s Sentai was. And also, it's kind of weird if it was, because who would have came up with that? Was it Kuichi Sakamoto? Was he on the show at this point? I think he was. Would he have been the one who came up with that idea because he knew the old Sentais? Because I really doubt the American, like, producers, writers knew anything of the older Sentais. But yeah, anyway. Cool episode. I liked it. Um... Don't really know what else to say. I'm really tired. <laughs> I just started uh, a new temp job, and it's crazy long hours. I get paid a lot, though, so that's nice. Anyway, I guess that's all for this one. See ya.